Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to see how much it'll heat a person up if they have 100 hand warmers taped to their clothing. Guys, it's pretty cold out today. We're it's up here at the dome. really cold. I'm actually doing pretty well at the moment. I've got lots of layers on. I've got a hat, and inside my little mittens here, I actually have hand warmers, the kinds that normally go in your pocket. Well, since my mittens come on and off easily like this, I just have some on the back of my fingers. It's working great. Nice. Like, my hands are so warm, and they have a hard time staying warm. But we wanted to know if these hand warmers could be more powerful if we used some more of them. Here's the basic idea. Hand warmers are great for keeping your fingers warm in the cold weather. But can we use hand warmers to keep our whole body warm? We're going to attach 100 hand warmers to my clothing and see how warm it keeps me in freezing temperatures. I'm still gonna be wearing layers, but not as many. So uh, currently underneath this, I have a t-shirt and a long sleeve shirt. So I'm gonna not have the jacket. I'm gonna not have the sweatshirt. I'm gonna keep the pants and I'm gonna keep the hat on, but we're gonna tape hand warmers all over, like from my ankles where my boots stop and just cover my clothing, including my hat, with 100 hand warmers, and then we're gonna see how warm that keeps me. Oh, well, just gotta start unwrapping. The bad part is that first, I have to take off the warm clothing and wait to get, like wait for the hand warmers to all heat up. All right, we're all set up. We've got the food going on the grill. Uh, so unfortunately at this point, I have to take off some of my extra layers, but we're gonna start getting uh, hand warmers taped all over me and hopefully those start warming up quickly. We do have this nice heater to keep me warm in the meantime. We're if not I, if to I need Nate. to. Yeah, so. We're not. Here goes. Guys, I'm not sure that one has enough. Will everyone please gather around and apply some more? Everyone, <laughs> everyone, let's get on. It's a group activity. My left arm is starting to get warm. Not in the heart attack way, like in the, <laughs> oh, it's warm. Uh, it's starting to warm up like um, it's, it's very noticeable and in the order that it was put on so like my left arm is the warmest There's some heat on my right arm feeling it on my torso a little bit Legs it's hard to tell because they've been down near the heater So I'm not really sure what's heater heat and what's hand warmer heat um, My hands themselves are still fairly cool That's sort of the circulation thing that I have going Even if my whole body's warm if my hands are uncovered I have no idea what's happening here. <laughs> all right, update. We've now got all of them. I didn't think we were going to get all of them on. We got all of them on, so I'm pretty well covered, and I'm definitely starting to feel the heat. They don't warm up instantly, but as we've been applying them, like, yeah, I can, I can feel, like, heat points just all over. And especially if I, like, move and it gets tighter in one spot and the, the heat pad gets, like, pressed against my skin more, um, it's... I'd say it's definitely starting to work. Now, as to whether my whole body is warm, well, what's standing out is that my hands are still cold. And one of the reasons we're doing this experiment is because I get cold really easily. And part of that is that I don't have great circulation in my hands. So even if the whole body is warm, if my hands are cold, like you can kind of see how like they kind of stay white too long. I might have Raynaud's. And so my hands are still cold, but the rest of me is actually doing pretty good. Like. It's weird that I can feel anywhere that doesn't have a heat pad. I'm like, oh, right here, like in there, like this spot on my, like I can feel that on my arm as like this slightly cooler area. It's not cold, but it's like an absence of the heat patch. So I'm just gonna wear this for a bit. We're gonna eat and I'm just gonna let them continue to get oxygen in them and warm up and see how it goes. And then me in my sort of ghetto mocap looking suit, uh, will give you an update on how warm I am at that point. Ooh, that works pretty well, though, for my hands. <laughs> oh. 
All right, an update. I've now had a chance to eat lunch and the whole time I've been wearing this and I haven't really been moving around very much. And I gotta say, for the most part, I think this is working, but I'm surprised that it's not like, it, it, I'm surprised that it's at such a comfortable level. Uh, I could have easily seen it being like, nope, there's just none of the heat is being retained. It's all just getting blown away by the mild breeze. Or I could have seen it just being like, it's insane. I'm roasting myself alive in here, but it's not. I'm just kind of at an okay spot. We're like, yeah. This is nice. My neck is cold where it's exposed. That back of my arm where I don't have one is a little cold, but the rest of me feels fine. Um, it is interesting that it doesn't feel like a retained heat. Like if I breathe in and I feel the pads press against me more, then it's just like warm points or it's like I'm being wrapped in an electric blanket or like leaning up against a warm pipe kind of thing. It's, it's just that kind of heating. But for the most part, it's very bearable and normal. Even like my head, you know, I've got, I don't even know, 10 pouches on my head. And my head feels warmish. But honestly, if I didn't know to feel, like to think about like, oh, is it heating? I would just feel like I was wearing a hat. So it's not getting cooled off as quickly, but it's, you know, nothing is uncomfortably warm right now. One thing I thought was really interesting and I didn't think about ahead of time is I can smell the hot tape it's subtle, but like I keep getting whiffs of it. Like, oh, is tape burning or something? Like, I don't know why it's a smell I know, but it is. I smell it and I'm like, oh, it's just tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to try putting my jacket on over the top. My, my pants, this is, I'm not gonna worry about putting pants on, but I'm gonna see what it does to me to put jackets over the top and put a hood up and see if that makes it so it's too warm. Okay, it's been 10 or so minutes of wearing the jacket and Oh wow, I've just been sitting there doing like nothing. I am, I, I think if I keep wearing this any longer, I'm just gonna break out in sweat. Um, I am now very, very warm everywhere. Like this is like, this would not be safe if you were doing anything other than just sitting there. And even if you are just sitting there maybe for any amount of time, like this is, this is toasty. toasty. Uh, to the point that like I was sitting down and I like closed my eyes and leaned back and I was just trying to analyze, like, is any part of me cold right now? And I, just, I couldn't tell that I was in a cold situation. Like, it, I feel compressed because I've got stuff taped around and I've got boots on and all that stuff, but like, it, it, nothing is cold. My hands aren't cold because I've got a little hand warmer in my mittens. My head is not at all cold. I've got the hood holding heat in even around my neck that's exposed and just, oh my gosh, this is, yeah. This, oh, I'm cooking in this. This would be a bad way to go for any long period of time. You know, maybe if it's like 50 below and this is the best clothing you have, but it's probably about 25 degrees Fahrenheit out here right now. Grace is going to throw a snowball at me. You have, you have throwing. I get kicking. Oh, it takes a while for these things to warm up, but now they are going and it is, this is so hot with the jacket on holding all that heat in. Whew. It definitely works. I'm not gonna say it's the most efficient way to go, but it works. I've never seen snow like this. Guys, that's it for today, but we've got tons of cool videos for you to watch. Click that box right there to check out one of our favorites and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.